So Gurudev continues. No qualification. Then it is a waste of time. We go in philosophy to cover myself, to cover my goal of life. This is the point. So much you fix yourself that you do not divert from Radhika. Chandravali is also fixed on Krishna. But no, I need <clears throat> only my Radhika. That is very difficult thing. Okay, let us mm. stop at this point. Mm. So question is, we need qualification or well, we don't need qualification? <laughs> this Guru Dev is very much interesting. We don't need qualification. But, but, condition is there. We have to fix Radhika. We, we, all, all we need to do is fix ourselves, self on the radicals lotus feet. Then we don't need qualification. Or well, in other words, if we fix ourselves, the lotus feet of Radha Dasi, like a Gurudev or Rupa Manjari, or Ragnath Eno, or Torashi Manjari, then may we may say we have no qualification. This is a very interesting point. Because Krishna, Krishna said Bhagavad Gita. Uh, chapter, I think three. No, I forgot. Maybe fourth chapter. Four eleven, Krishna said to Arjuna, "Ye ataman prapadante, tan stataiva bajameham, mama baruto manu barutante, manusha paruta sarvasha." All of them. As they surrender unto me, I reward accordingly. Everyone follow my path in all respect, O son of Parada. In this verse, Bhagavad Gita 4.11, Krishna say, according to your surrendering, I reward accordingly. That means, Krishna is checking some qualification. How much surrender? How much surrendering are you? You are how much surrendering? I am checking. That is Krishna's attitude. But the Radhika's case, Radhika's mother, 
like mother. Krishna is like father. Father's tendency is to check the son and check the daughter. But the mother's tendency is does not need no checking, just love. So if we go to the lotus seat of Radhika, then Radhika said, no, you don't need to worry anything. I'll take care. Because Radhika is a universal mother, especially for Manjari, Radhika's mother. Very famous story. One, one gentleman died, his wife. Some other, that person came to Brindavan. And then wife's name is Kishori. That one person and chanting Kishori, Kishori and crying in Brindavan. Some story is said, this is in near Seba Kund. Some story say some is Radha Kund. Some story say some other place. But anyway, one person is crying near Seba Kund. And then Radhika was asking to Radhika, who is calling my name? And Radhika was checking. Oh, one gentleman is crying, calling Kishori, but not your name. He's calling, he's passing, you know, wife name. So that Kishori is not your name. Then Radhika said, no, in Brindavan, Kishori is meant to me. It doesn't matter. He's calling Kishori. He's taking shelter, my, my name. So I have to take care. So Radhika asked, Radita or some some sake, please bring him in front of me. And then Radalani give like Gopi's body. So actually we are thinking. You know, we are, we are practicing bhakti many years. Or oh, many, some people may think, oh, I have a qualification. But uh, if I check myself, honestly, no qualification. Only hope is, is mercy, kripa, of sadhu. Guru Vajnava and Nitai Gora. And uh, I was just reading one book. And then Guru Dev was saying, we are, we are trying to be Kripa Siddha. No Satana Siddha. But actually, true, because we have no qualification. In Kali Yuga, how much sadhana we could, we can do? Can we chant 64 rounds every day? Or can we chant three lakh of chanting? Maybe some people say, yes, I do. But most of us, difficult to do. 
in, in Brindaban, we may do. Many people have job. Many people have family. It's not so easy to chant one lakh or even, you know, but to speak three lakhs. So then, only our hope is mercy. Gurudev used to say, mercy does not need anything. Just we are talking today with some devotees. So if we have problem, I have problem. So then I just approach very powerful man. If I have problem in some kind of law, go to do a, a lawyer. Or if some, some kind of medical problem, I go to, I approach medical doctor. But first class one. Then I don't need to worry anything. If some very, if I take shelter, I have many problems. So, so, sir, you are very rich, very powerful. You can solve many problems. So, let, please, please take care of me. Then that person said, Hey, Jayananda, I'll take care of you. No problem. You don't need to do anything. Just you surrender me. I can do anything for you. If I have power, then someone approach, hey, Jayananda, I have problem. You have power. Please help me. I'm surrender to you. Okay, no problem. I'll take care of whatever, you know, whatever I could do. So, Radhika, Radhika has so much power because Radhika has in charge all energy of Krishna. Radhika has in charge of Pradin Shakti, but actually Radhika in charge all energy of Krishna. Chitta Shakti. Even Radhika control Krishna. Then, if Radhika desire, everything can possible. No qualification. We don't need any qualification. Just take shed the Radhika. That's, I think, Guru Dev is saying. But if take shelter of Krishna, we don't know. Because Krishna is Sanchari. Krishna got to sometimes change mind. Sometimes Krishna has checking our qualification. Hey, Jayananda, you did, you this, you did this, you did this. You have this qualification. You may not qualify to enter Braja. Krishna may say, but I take shelter of the Radhika. If Radhika agree, then what Krishna can do? What other people can do? No one can do. We don't need philosophy, honestly speaking. All we need, we need to take shelter of the Radhika. This is so good thing of saying this is interesting. So Gopi, Chandra Bari fix on Krishna. That's okay. That's very good. But for us, I need only my Radhika. And this take shelter Radhika is Mahaprabhu give us. No other age said like this. Mahaprabhu give us this secret. Unna to ujwar rasa. 
スワバクティシュリアン。To take shelter of Radhika is Mahaprabhu's great, greatest teaching and Rupa Goswami's greatest teaching. We follow Rupa Goswami. We follow Raghuna Das Goswami because they are teaching us Unna to Ujwalasa Swa Bhakti Shuriya. That's, I, so I feel that's point. So if, so, if somebody help, please help me, help us. Okay. Sorry. I too much, I said too much. <laughs> When this one pointedness will come, your life will be successful. Anything is secondary. <laughs> Swamini is my priority. Love is my priority. Wow. So this is、uh, Guru Dev's main teaching. Love is a way. Love is goal. And Pabupada also stress many point in Pabupada's Bhagavad Gita. Maybe any time repeating good 10th chapter 15. Indeed, you alone know yourself by your own potencies. O origin of all, Lord of all being, God of gods, O supreme person, Lord of the universe. Krishna could know himself by his own potency. We could know Krishna by Krishna's own potency. So who is Krishna's own potency? <laughs> And also, Pabupada's Bhagavad Gita, as 18 chapter, 78 verse. Last verses, last purport. The living entity in his original position is pure spirit. He is just like an atomic particle of the supreme spirit. The conditioned living entity, however, is a marginal energy of the Lord. He tends to be in contact with both the marginal energy, I'm sorry, both the material energy and the spiritual energy. In other words, the living entity is situated between the two energy of the Lord. Because he belongs to the supreme energy of the Lord. He has particle of independence. By proper use of that independence, he comes under the direct order of Krishna. Thus he attains his normal condition. In the pleasure giving potency. So our Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy, Rupa Nuga,、uh, Rupa Nuga followers, our main philosophy, anything is secondary. Swamini 
s h r i m a t i Radharani is my priority. Means love is my priority. Love is a goal. Love is a way. That is this beautiful g u r u d e v Okay, we go to next title. Shri Manak Shiksha. Instructions to the mind. The material mind is restless. When you become spiritual, the mind is not restless. What is the position of my mind? Who should check this? Is the position of my mind fault of some other person? Am I restless? And blaming others for it? This is a very sensitive issue, my dears. This issue, if you take it seriously and practice. Self realization will come. Start checking myself. Where am I moving inside? What circumstances are coming? This is the goal of life. It's not some show. Wow.、Mm-hmm. This is Guru David's important teaching. Checking myself. Not to other. So, this point, if someone could share, <laughs> is very nice. So, my dear Suniti. Da 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 da, damn the words and loving greetings to everyone. Yes, it's my subject. So I can <laughs> speak about it also. It's a good subject. Because Gurdiv, in the next paragraph, he says, because I'm living in the senses, I see only senses. So the point is where am I living? This I have to really reflect. In every moment, where am I feeling myself and others from which perspective? Gurudev always gives this example of Manovriti and Chitta Vritti. Vritti is the circle or the focus, and Mano means the mind, and usually that is my、uh, normal. Yeah, fallen condition, let's say it like that, or habit. I judge everything from my mind. Oh, this is good, or this is bad. I like this person, 
I don't like this person. I, you know, it's in this always good and bad and especially what is good for me and uh, what is not good for me. <laughs> if that is the circle, I'm living in the senses. And when I live in the senses, then the life is very, very miserable. Why? Because it is never satisfied. And always I have a habit to think bad about others. <laughs> Or the tendency, let's say it like that. It's a tendency to easily misunderstand everything, every situation is against me. Why? Because usually when I'm living in my senses, then I'm more or less living on the reflex of survival. Survival means I have to check that my life will be uh, survival, that I survive. I have to have enough to eat and a good sleep and all of this. But this survival uh, mood or mode is very, very uh, tiring. And after being in survival, after some time, then I get a burnout. Because it's very unnatural for a spiritual soul to be in survival mood. It's the fighting mood. So Gurdiv says that If I am in my senses, I see only senses. And when I see only senses, then it's very, very uh, much that I see also everyone else is my competition or my enemy. It's the function of the senses to let us be alive and to stay alive. And to have a good situation for myself and my family and my situation, you know, for my life. This is the, like a very, uh, how do you say, common um, way of living nowadays. Everyone is in survival mood. I have to survive. I have to get a good, uh, you know, job and I have to get a good, you know, house or apartment or partner. I have to get a good a bank uh, account and all of this. It is very natural for humans and for all species, actually, also for animals and for plants. They are all in the survival. But if we come to the level of the soul, of the inner self, and that Gurudev is helping us so much, always checking always helping us to see, also checking myself. That is actually, I think it's a, it's a mercy if I can always check myself and become conscious, come into the level of, yeah, not only uh, Krishna consciousness, but Radha consciousness, because we are the Radha Dasis, or we want to become the Radha Dasis. We want to be alive as a Radha Dasi, and not only surviving in this planet Earth, which is not such a happy situation for a long time. So that's why Gurudev says, I see my Gurudev is living in the senses. I like that because even, you know, even if we think I am already spiritual, I'm chanting Hare Krishna, You know, I was chanting Hare Krishna for 30 years. Then my Gurudev come and tell me, if you are not uh, having any feelings, then you are chanting for who or for what? So Gurudev says, wake up. Nityananda always says, wake up. So different, different teachers are there in my life to help me wake up. And even sometimes it is a burnout. Because when I cannot survive in a happy way, I will burn out. I will feel I am useless in this material world. And that will help me again to come to my chitta vritti. Right? 
when I have a very difficult time and something is happening that is not so good, it will help me. In the end, it will be a blessing in disguise. So when I am working on this, or let's say become conscious about this soul, who I am in this body, in this vehicle, then Gurudev can help further. And I can also see Gurudev as a soul or all other beings as souls. And then what happens is a shift. All of a sudden, I don't look only for body or age or man or woman or child or grandmother. I look for soul, eternal beings. And then later, from this soul level, if I, if I come closer to Gurudev and all my brothers and sisters, who I see now also as souls, who want to go into the deep, deep, deep service of Radha and Mohan, Radha Rani, in the first place. Then something happens. Then I can learn to see everyone as a shining, small being of love. I say small because kinkaris are small. They don't want to be big. Gurudev says, even then, in the, in the last Zoom, he said something that really keep my mind going. And that is their mercy now, because now my mind is not going for me and I and mine and the others. Now my mind is going, what? What was this point? Wow, I am only half. The Manjuris are only half. And they are never full. And even if I become a big half or like a very fulfilled half, it will always be half because this half is happy being a half. It's so, it's, you know, then this, this is the, the spiritual thinking. I'm happy being a half. Being a, you know, very small, shiny half of Radha and Mohan. They are both 12 and 12. They are big. And I am the half. I can serve the big ones, the big lovers. <laughs> I find it so sweet. And the half will never be full. And the half, when it grows, then the container becomes more bigger, but always half container. It's a miracle, isn't it? It's, I like this miracle. I like this meditation. This is my meditation at the moment. I share with you. I Thank try you. to be in this meditation. And whenever any situation comes in my day where my feelings become down, then I feel, what do you expect, Suniti? You are only half. Why do you complain? <laughs> you are anyway only half. You will never be full. So if <laughs> some down feelings come, then I think I am happy that I am only a half. And then I come naturally back to my position. So I think this half is a secret. It's a good secret. It has helped me so much. Thank you, Gurudev and all the Vaishnavas. <laughs> Thank you. So actually, I wish to hear Radha Kripa Kataksha Baba. So why you can how you can write so much good, you know, touching poem. And this point, if you could share with us, I'm very, we are very happy. I'm very happy. I want to hear from you. Oh, that, that, my dears. <laughs> it's difficult to say how, how this appear in the heart, actually, because, uh, all our tendencies is in our life is a change. Always, always by my experience, it's always in progress, you know. And all these feelings uh, which approach to us uh, coming uh, suddenly, step by step, without our expectation. I mean, in my case, personally, actually. So you spoke about uh, mercy and... Uh, I can say just that uh, uh, those, those mercy actually, it's not uh, 
it's not something uh, which uh, which appear by, by by some regular process as uh, some devotees previously and books uh, uh, teach us that uh, this mercy will come by our uh, daily regular schedules of uh, spiritual practice what is important of course but uh, actually that, uh, that mercy what you spoke about today by my experience is just uh, uh, coming uh, but our crying actually for the mercy uh, from our deep desire as Suniti did he said that uh, uh, actually um, I forgot uh, her words exactly um, but this uh, uh, this point actually is just just that we uh, actually uh, have to uh, have to uh, pray every day that uh, Radhika uh, discover they discover what our inner love to us actually then then uh, I think that a mercy will come not just that we are uh, meditate about uh, uh, about this uh, that we establish our daily activities is uh, in in a nice way that we uh, deserve this. Actually, by my experience, experience is just uh, suddenly appear, and then we have to just uh, just uh, pray that these uh, feelings arise in our heart uh, uh, by our wish, uh, uh, by by our inner deep wish uh, and uh, opening the heart every day and invoke radicals every day in our mind as much as is possible this uh, mercy coming and increase and we can expect uh, that this love will be coming more and more after these drops uh, it uh, i think that uh, uh, we can expect this uh, more more feelings actually and this is one ocean without end and always new moment coming in every day i asked guru when i was in india last time can can i go uh, wider in my meditation to uh, sir radhika my manasi seva and everything he says yes you have to go wider and wider don't be afraid because some fear still exists in the heart from the previous practice actually but we can uh, if we go wider to serve Radha and Krishna uh, invoke some different uh, signs different pictures in our mind and serve them this uh, so many magical things uh, uh, happened in our heart that we can see that uh, Radha and Krishna play one beautiful uh, eternal game actually not not just in their world in our heart because we are eternally connected everything inside actually and it is in one very magical way this uh, this uh, we can discover in our heart it's really it's one really beautiful world so you ask about my poems i don't know what to say actually it's so just come spontaneous in you know, spontaneously very uh when i wrote the first poem i thought <laughs> what to speak about radica more I just say some words how i can compare her with something it's it's just uh, i cannot compare her with any anything what i see in these monday words actually in my dry heart how i can express but by mercy of you and by mercy of radhika we can see that this world of radharani's love is so wide is so deep that uh, just have to expect uh, and pray, pray that, uh, that this uh, pictures that feelings uh, go wider and wider and deeper and deeper 
actually maybe it's a little bit confusion uh, answer. I don't know that I express it in the proper way, but I hope for this time that you can understand what I wanted to say, actually. So thank you very much. If you have some more questions, I'm here. Don't want to use the time for others if they want to say something. Well, beautiful. So generally speaking, checking, checking myself is just checking, but uh, in your words, like uh, I, I feel, you know, we pray and we cry as much as possible, then more some inner, inner, some door, like Kunja's door is kind of opening more and more, and more thing is coming in the heart. So therefore, your poem is so touching our heart. So, because uh, just uh, listening your your poem, just touching your poem, or just uh, vibration, it purify myself or maybe our selves. So thank you very much. Okay, I'm not So we continue reading. Because I am living in the senses, I see only senses. I see that my Gurudev is living in senses. Because my mind is living there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I am only living in sense objects. So I see others only living there. Even my Gurudev I see living there. Why? Because I am limiting myself. Because I am limiting myself. This Gurudev is saying, we are limit, we are we are limiting just sadaka deha, living in this material body. But the Guru Dev is saying, we can live in another way. And uh, spiritual body, we can live in Siddha Deha. This is Guru Deva's uh, suggesting in another way, indirect way. So this is uh, interesting. Because we are living in this body, we are identify myself in this body. Oh, I am this body. I am living in this body. Therefore, other people can also live in this body, that body. Oh, Gurudev also living in Sadaka Deha, this body. So we are, our thinking, our identifying is some limitation, Gurudev is saying this like this. But this limitation could become no limitation, or we can become go another dimension. This is by the mercy of, uh, I think, Sadhu Guru Vaishnavas. 
So, Gurudev, could you, could you give comment to this, this subject? How can we live in, in Siddhadeha? Please, Gurudev, if you could share us, and we are very much grateful. When I am writing, maybe I am living like this. And, and the reality, when we will accept that I am in this condition, then I can improve it. But I, if I know this is the, my goal, then I will improve this goal, no? what I know. If I know that senses, I come for enjoying the senses. This is my real experience, I say. It's not that I am just writing book and telling. I was really, I was feeling like this. In my age, when I am totally, I want to be in my false ego, in my material identification, body is the only thing. My ego is the only thing. Atmosuk, only happiness for mine. And for me, I am doing. I work for myself, for my benefit, by myself. That moment, I only see myself, not even anyone. And what is the benefit for me? I, by hook and crook, I want to do that. I don't see. I become blind to do that. And that way, I am going more in and in and in in material. And I become so sick, so sick, that in the age of 35, 40, I have to take Corson and only antibiotic. I cannot turn in my bed. Without person, I cannot turn myself. <laughs> then I think my life becomes hellish. What I do? I spoil my body to myself. By the grace, mercy of Gurudev. And the moment I realize my bad habits want to bring back again and again and again, but I listen. If I don't repeat that same mistake, there is no mistakes. There was one quotation. I was writing every place the what to do, not to do. If you not repeat your mistake, it's not mistake. If you are mis repeating same mistake every time, it is not leaving us. So I, I see this is my mistake, and I start living one by one. Because I decide full-time job. I leave everything for other moment and my duty. And I do it. I start to doing that. I want to grow it. I was disciple of Babaji 
but for the benefit of radha monson for the desire of gurudev i became sanyasi only for the gurudev desire and only for the help of the radha mohan service i will get more i do this and i traveled 22 years only for radha mohan and the devotee benefit not for my self interest and after doing my services gopinath bring me to the basement room <laughs> i come again in my garage room where i start my services this is the garage room yeah. huh? this i start from here and i come to my garage room as a gatekeeper of mugher <laughs> mat <laughs> I am not a guru. I don't want to be a preacher, and I uh, my whole time doors are closed outside. I don't meet with anyone. I don't. I'm a retired man. Retired man. My mind is not working. My energy is not there. But really. and inside was strong 80 years old but i never become tired i sleep at 11 and i leave the my bed at 2 am i cannot do before i never tired and from 2 i sit up to 2 am pm and then i eat prasad and go to bed i i don't know my physical body is more fit than young age body and my manovritti is also become good and chitravritti very cooperation with the chitravritti my manovritti is also not going for anything and if it goes out i know it i know one thing if the pressure is there go and take out your pressure out and free so when i feel any pressure of anything i do first thing material pressure i know hold it <laughs> now you see i have one pressure that prashant bhai has has to go on 20 years and he has no visa how he will go he got the visa and he is flying on 20 years so yeah yeah gopin is managing but it was pressure i said bhai radha won't solve it i don't want to keep this pressure to leave that any pressure i put the petition to him and it solved i never i cannot do i am not a doer but i can view i can see it. that he they are doing that that is mercy how i can see the mercy now i can feel that mercy because i see who is the doer and what i am doing it all is all is happening not only to me Who is close to me? All happening very good for their life. So when the goal is fixed, when one is fixed, make many zero after that. 
No problem. One has to be fixed. In America, measure has to be fixed. Minor subject you can manage it. So measure is only one subject. One. And that is our istadev. No diversion. And it should be 100%. How much percentage is there? That is the thing. All, all will flow here. Yeah. All flow. All flow. All flows. Mansi flow. That Chittabhitti and Manobhitti start working together. Well, if not, then there is a conflict with the Chittabhitti and Manobhitti. Outside wants something else, inside wants something else. Many conflicts, many disturbance. I create myself for my life. And that problem, I face for that. And I blame, oh, because of my child it happened, because of my wife it happened, because of my friend it happened. Are you are the problem. I am a problem for myself. My ego is a problem. My senses is the major subject, so it becomes a problem. So the circle becomes very small. And when I, my grace of the Guru Dev, Bigger circle content is a different subject. It depends of realization. I see 60 years old person, he still is like a child. And one person in 22, 24, 25 years, very grown up. So I say, 60 years old person, like a child, means he is not grown up. The childish nature is there, the really goal is not fixed. And somebody grown up in 25 years. So it's a different is the circumstances. Previous sanskara, Narayan Mara said, these are the previous sanskara. How I will assess? When I will start watching inside me. And these are the sadhana. This is sadhana bhakti. What is doing sadhana? This has to check and to develop. So I practice sari. Sometimes I share this and so I like this thing. It's no meaningful. Read some good books. These are just quotation. My feelings, my mistakes, I open myself. That I can check and I can remove it. If I do. For my slapping, I write it. No? Okay. We will continue reading. <coughs> Thank you very much.
I don't see that Gurudev is trying to help me. Trying to lift me out of the senses. Instead, I see if he is restless, he also must be living in the sense objects. Exercise. This mind has to do exercise. We don't engage our mind to do exercise. Then how we think we are living in spiritual life? Understand? Mind is restless and always keeping ourselves in this restlessness. Mm. And I, I write. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was you. Yeah, <laughs> one day it was like this. <laughs> if I don't change myself, then what I am to center to do this. Mm. How I anugata of Gurudev, how I change my life. <laughs> then still I'm a rascal. I have to, many things I have to learn and improve myself, what is missing inside. Right? That is, heritage. I have to heritage from my spiritual master, right? Hmm. So we are always a student. How I can see that I am a teacher. I am still a student, to, ready to prepare and learn and improve myself. Watchful all the time. Sri Radhe. Sri Radhe. Read again. Hmm. Hmm. Exercise. This mind has to do exercise. We don't engage our mind to do exercise. Then how we think we are living in spiritual life? And what is the meaning of exercise? Bhajan. <laughs> So I give his general classes in the church. You can imagine. And talking about bhajan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a crazy person. Huh? I go to the church. I go to the mall. I go every place. Huh? So I have to talk, but I cannot change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> Suniti brings me to one place in Germany. 
where the only Jesus devotee was there, full of power. Only two, three person, Krishna devotee was there. And so if he made one book of that classes, I don't know where she has this book. And all are crying, Jesus devotee there. <laughs> Yes, good. If it was one of the best classes I hear from you, it was so amazing and so heart touching. All people were crying, all people were silent. There was no more, you know, anything doubts because the subject was Jesus and yoga or Jesus and bhakti yoga, of course. So it is so nice, it's so beautiful. One of the best classes, Guru. I am not prepared anything and I don't know what to say. They prepared me, they inspired me the Jesus mercy and the devotees must be inspired. They scratch my feelings and words start coming by the grace of Guruji. Right. Now you see the exercise of the mind is Bhajan Kriya. How I say Bhajan Kriya in, in the exercise of the mind, right? Why we do the Bhajan If we do the exercise of the mind, never I touch it. Yeah. 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 So Guru Dev continues. Yeah. Ah, Suniti showing. This is the book. It's a little booklet. It's sweet. It's only the class of Jesus and Yoga. Oh my God! This is German. What yeah, is this it? is German and English. It's actually uh, half. It's German with English translation. I can send it to you if you want. I can check. Yeah, yeah. No? So yes, uh, yeah. We want to see. I don't have this one. Or I can bring to Vrindavan, and I can give you one copy. And yeah. then you can make it in Japanese if you want. And yeah. by the way, I love mm. your your new book. You know, it looks so mm, first like, class like, and very rustic. Like Suri made a nice book. Yeah, this <laughs> one. Wow, Gurudev. Gurudev is a, so what? nice. They did. So nice, Gurudev. What is this? Sorry, it did. Uh, this is a, um, Bhagavad Gita translation. By your mercy, the beauty of real love. Wow. In Japan. New one. Yeah, yeah newest one. Just a uh, few days come by all your mercy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Prabhupada um, meeting is mentioned there or not? Sure, of course sure mentioned. Then. Of course mentioned. <laughs> Everything mentioned good then. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was a Pagpata picture also there? Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Your love is expanding and flowing like this all over. Of your mercy, you are giving us this good thing. 
где-то дедку, это шама, где-то дедку, вот это шама. There is nothing out of her. So everything comes from her, everything goes to her. He is the one, other is the zero. <laughs> you see the figure become very big. <laughs> <laughs> I need your eye to see like this. Well, go on. Go on. <laughs> If we always see the good things in all circumstances, and never focus on the bad things. Never think negative. In negative also there is a positive. So why not to create this reason? Everything has a positive. We have to run from that. that. See that. <laughs> This focus on good then good will grow and bad will automatically fade. <laughs> Experience. <laughs> Practical experience. <laughs> Experience. If you want, I sit alone. I will say the practical experience. I don't want to say public. Mm. Really, it's the practical experience. <laughs> 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 Shirad. <laughs> from what I understood from today's class was that we need to control our mind and use it as a tool to develop spirituality. Well, I cannot write these things. <laughs> I'm very collected. <laughs> <laughs> you collect it. We cannot ignore the mind or expect someone else or our spiritual master to control it. <laughs> We cannot ignore the mind or expect someone else 
our spiritual master to control it. And we exercise to do this. Sorry. And the exercise, the exercise to do this would be to check yourself and your mind. Whatever you are doing. Bhajan. Bhajan is the exercise word. Because many are very much shocked with the bhajan. Bhajan, 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 devotion. So I use different, different words some place. <laughs> exercise your mind. <coughs> or how you will exercise? My exercise is repeating the name. Mm -hmm. That is the mind, mind exercise. And mind is not in control. You will not like to do that. Mm. Mad elephant. Na. <laughs> <laughs> you, you say mad elephant. <laughs> that is false ego, right? He is a bad elephant. <laughs> Crazy and powerful. Powerful. Ooh. <laughs> Not elephant to control it. <laughs> and his nature, you know, he go to the bath in the river and how he dry him, he come again out and again put the dust on his body. <laughs> Then he become again dusty. So he useless of taking bath because he again become dusty. And after water, this dust goes in the body. So it will become like a muddy. Mm. Mm. So this is the ego nature. Mm. Other can see it. My body, muddy body will see others, but I don't bother. Again, I put mud in the body because of my false mm -hmm. That I'm doing, I say. <laughs> So I'm hammering to my mind. So, yeah. Mm. You have to do exercise. <laughs> exercise, heavy exercise. I was very heavy exerciser. Very heavy exercise. Because uh, my heavy body, I do very heavy exercise. <laughs> now my body is all good. I said, leave me. I have to go back. He said, no, no, I will stay longer. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Janandaji. Yes. And everyone. It's 9.25. Jananda is tired looking. He should rest. 
<laughs> a long time I am looking to him. <laughs> Very much wealth for us, why he has rest and be strong. Yes, Gurudev. I, yeah. I have to take care of my body also. <laughs> Are you not take care? Radha Rani take care. Yes. But he is nothing to take care. He is a body, plastic body. <laughs> it will keep in us plastic consciousness. Mm. Nothing to bother. My, my material body give pain. I have a Russian devotee to Mataji. He bring thorn, plastic thorn. <laughs> I put as a press. And this is so painful, I cannot say you. This needs plastic, but it need this thorn, plastic thorn. This nothing <laughs> comfortable it is. That's good. Right. Radhe, Radhe, take Radhe. Oh, my baby. How are you? Ma Bhakti Hemagiri. あ、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> ありがとうございました。じゃあ、なんですね、もうありがとうございます。ラモニーありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがと